is our third day out on the Bronze Bell wreck site and as you can see behind me it's another glorious day. We've got divers in the water at the moment, they've already been in and they've continued taking photos at repeatable points across the site so we can really start to monitor change. The divers who are in the water at the minute are our second wave of divers. They're completing another area of the photogrammetry survey so that by the end of the week we will hopefully have covered right across the site. Our final wave of divers uh, later today will be continuing the marine flora and fauna survey. Uh, we've had some real success identifying species present on the site this week and we hope to continue that work later today. My name is Simon A.D. Davis. I am an archaeologist on this site. I was brought in this week by the MSDS team. I'm, I'm Welsh, I live in this area and it's a local site to me. But, you know, I'm a professional archaeologist as well, and I dived on the site in 2004. In 2004, we did Photo Mosaic, which is basically taking photos and stitching them together to create a 2D plan of the site. In 2021, we're using a similar system, but enhanced, using GoPros, which use 4K definition, which is a very good definition, and it can give a more of a 3D perspective of the site. And we can overlay that with a multi-boom survey, which is a highly accurate sonar system gives almost in itself a 3D picture. So comparing and contrasting the two together, you get a much better representation of what the site is in the present day. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm one of the divers and camera operators on the project. And I have just been down doing a dive with Tom. We've been trying to find uh, the right locations to reconstruct plates that have been done previously. Um, so we were going to different locations on the site looking to try to orientate ourselves with it so that we can get the right angle and the right aspect. We've been putting um, scale bars in there as well so that we can recreate exactly what we've done before. The difference that we've seen is that there's definitely a lot more life. Um, there's definitely more seaweed for sure. Um, and that's quite obvious. You can't actually see the scale slides in some of the pictures it's, we had to wait for the current to go in a certain way to wash the seaweed in the opposite direction just so you could actually see the scale slides. Because this site is protected I don't think they, it gets a lot of traffic so that there aren't normal divers going and, and changing the pH of the area they're not like ripping things up there's actually quite a lot of life we've got lobsters there's dogfish all sorts of States, all sorts of different um, generations of fish. There's lots of juvenile, uh, juvenile bib and grown bib, lots of cork green wrasse in different stages as well. It's really nice to see so many fish on a wreck, actually. My name's Jenny Kent and I work for MSDS Marine. I'm a project officer. I've been with them for a couple of years now. I'm a diver, I'm a maritime archaeologist and I specialise in heritage crime and underwater sites. I used to work for a company called Wessex Archaeology and at the time they had the contract from the government to go and look at all the protected wrecks around the UK and do whatever needed doing. So we visited Talibont in 2004, um, we did like a condition survey, we took a lot of photographs because the vis visibility back then was at least 10 metres and um, we've taken photographs of all the marble mound, there was kind of panoramic shots, there was um, site specific shots on the end of cannons cannons on the cascabel, on the muzzles, on the trunnions, on the anchors. So we managed to build up a little mini mosaic even back then before photogrammetry was even a thing. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff that we can compare it to today. So today one of the divers is down and one of the tasks is to kind of replicate those photographs so we can see um, how the flora and fauna has changed on the guns, if the guns have changed position, if there's any active corrosion. It's a really good way of monitoring the sites and then if people want to come back next year or in two years time, in theory we'll track those points using Track Diver Survey and then they can go back to those points and they can replicate the photos again and eventually over time we can build up a bigger picture which helps with management of these sites. Okay, so one of the things that Cherish have asked us to look at is the um, climate can change and conditions of the site, kind of the storminess. And uh, one of the things we're going to look at and measure that by is looking at the flora and fauna on the site, so the different types of seaweed. So we're going to be taking a kind of a survey over the whole site, looking and seeing what's there. And then again, this can be replicated in a couple of years' time or even next year. And just to see how the site's changed, we're taking pH samples daily, kind of on the surface and underwater at the bottom of the site 
We're taking um, temperature measurements so we can see if the sea is warming and then again these can be replicated and we can build up a bigger picture of the site which will help to manage it properly. So here I've got some examples that divers can take down to have a look at. There's all sorts, I mean, we've already seen a, a barrel jellyfish. When we were here in 2004, we had loads of these going. They were like ping pong balls. You have to push them out of the way. There were so many. Um, they don't sting. <laughs> but um, there's lots of different ones on the site. And we're going to be building up a picture of kind of what's down there as part of this survey.